What's going on YouTube? Today we have a doubles battle using of course the VGC 2015 rules against Chewy. Um, I'll be sure to leave his link for his Twitter in the description in case you want to challenge him as he plays a lot of doubles battles as well. Uh, I'm still figuring out what I like about VGC 2015, what I want to run, what I don't like running. This particular setup I had a couple of trick room setters depending on what typing I needed alongside some slow Pokemon with Talonflame to clean up. Uh, of course, Cacturn is Focus Sash, running Seed Bomb, Sucker Punch, Destiny Bond, and Spiky Shield. And Electros is actually Assault Vested. Um, this works out very well just because if the Pokemon are bulky enough, then they can live to fight another day through a little bit of Heal Pulse action from Aromatisse. Um, I didn't know if my opponent was running Scarf, Star Raptor, Scarf, uh, Salamence, or Mega uh, Salamence, maybe Abandoned Star Raptor. But I did see Dust Noir there and I knew I needed to keep a couple of Pokemon in the back to deal with that because Dust Noir is quite bulky. In this first turn, I didn't know what he wanted to do, so I just decided to protect with my Aromatisse and Spiky Shield here. If he tried to uh, Will-O-Wisp, then that wouldn't work. If he tried to um, set up Trick Room, great, then my Pokemon are going to be slower than his. Um, and he did try to go for a U-Turn, which was nice because I was able to get off a little bit of damage in case he was running Focus Sash. Greninja is, of course, quite bulky. Uh, expecting him to just go for another special type move with his Greninja, I just switched out into Electros. As I set up the Trick Room this turn, I don't mind him burning my Aromatisse, I much prefer Burn too toxic on it. Aromatisse tends to start off at the beginning of the battle and then stay out the whole time if I'm able to predict and protect at the appropriate times while also heal pulsing with the trick room up then I can generally keep my teammates alive while being able to set up the trick room a second time. Uh, here because I know I'm going to be faster uh, I am going to definitely use heal pulse on my Electros which is assault vested which is the only reason it's taking those hits so well from Greninja. Um, and because of that heal pulse, even though I don't knock out Greninja with Thunderbolt, which likely means that it's a little bit bulky, uh, I am able to live that turn. Um, he of course is able to bypass the slow effects of my Trick Room with a priority Shadow Sneak. And because I switched out my Cacturn, I'm not worried about being intimidated by Salomon. So that was a pretty good turn overall, I would say. Now right here, expecting um, maybe Another Will-O-Wisp coming towards my Cacturn. I decided to bring in my Talonflame. Uh, he actually goes for Protect with Salamence, which he probably was expecting a Moon Blast coming from Aromatisse. And uh, since I did switch out, this is a slightly bulkier Talonflame than the one I was using before. Uh, so I'm able to take basically negligible damage from the Shadow Sneak. I do unfortunately have a good speed investment on this Talonflame. And so that means not only will my Brave Birds be going, behind uh, his Shadow Sneak, but also if he brings in something with priority, then his priority will be going before by Talonflame. Fortunately though, I'm not worried about Shadow Sneak. I'm able to hit the Salamence really, really hard with the Brave Bird, which is boosted by the Sharp Beak item, and then I'm able to finish it off with Aromatisse's uh, Moon Blast attack. Um, I have a really weird build on my Aromatisse, but it works very well for taking hits while still being able to at least pick up clean up KOs with Moonblast on certain Pokemon. Uh, since I am only running Moonblast as Aromatisse's single attack move, it's important that I'd support it appropriately with other Pokemon so that if I run into Steel, Poison, or Fire types, I'm able to handle them uh, appropriately. Now, unfortunately here, I still have one turn of Trick Room, so I knew that with minus one, I'm not going to be able to one-hit KO the Star Raptor, and so I went for Will-O-Wisp trying to hit the Dust Noir and weaken its attacks. Uh, while I did miss, that did work out how I wanted it to, since I knew that Star Raptor would likely go for its own Brave Bird and be Scarf, since the Salamence was uh, uh, Mega Salamence. Then I knew I could outslow it. Unfortunately, I missed the little so that doesn't come into play. But the idea was a, a decent idea. Um, here, just want to definitely go for the Spiky Shield. I don't really want to mess around too much with Star Raptor until it loses some more HP. I figured if I got a little bit more Spiky Shield damage, or if it attacked Aromatisse, that I could kill it with a Sucker Punch, but I needed a little bit more damage off of it uh, just to make sure that I could get that KO. Uh, fortunately, I was carrying the Citrus Berry on Aromatisse, so when he was not um, really focusing on Aromatisse and it got knocked down by the burn, I was able to get a lot of that HP up, which means not only will I be able to pick up the KO here on Star Raptor, but that also means that uh, because last turn I was able to, of course, set back up the Trick Room a second time in the battle, 
now it's just down to his uh, single Dust Noir verse my Cacturn and my Electros that I saved from earlier. Since the Trick Room is up, he's forced to go to Shadow Sneak if he wants to get a hit off. Um, of course, since Trick Room is up, he is slower than me, so if uh, I go for Sucker Punch, when he goes for Shadow Sneak, my Sucker Punch will fail because the Shadow Sneak will go off first. And I noticed that previously when he Shadow Sneaked my Aromatis and then I Sucker Punched the uh, Star Raptor. So it's really good to pay attention to those, uh, the turns of priority that you have. But that's not going to end up mattering because while he does take out the Electros, I still have full health, so Focus Sash intact on my Cacturn. And of course, I could also stall him out with some spiky shields if I needed to. But either way, that was a really, really fun match. I was pleasantly pleased with how uh, Cacturn and Electros did. Cacturn has that really nice water absorb ability that allows him to get around Scald or uh, when it's applicable, Surf and Hydro Pump. Um, and a lot of people forget that Cacturn has that ability. And in 6th gen, he has access to Spiky Shield instead of just regular Protect. So, he's able to get around some imprisoned shenanigans uh, for other Pokemon using Protect for that matter. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I can heal up all the way in the next couple of days here. My voice is still a little bit weak from the infection that I had, the respiratory infection. But I thank you guys for watching, and I hope to talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye now.